Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on this uh, score for the sniper. Here is the preview. We can do a zoom in, zoom out with the mouse. Right. So let's see how to do implement this today. So at the moment, if I equip the sniper and if I go to aim in mode, nothing happens basically. So we don't get the score. But I already implemented how to get the score in my previous character. So to see how it works, let me first open the sniper and here we should have we have this set reticle mod right so we use this how do we use this in the player mannequin which is the previous character right here when we are aiming we set the reticle mode to aiming and when you are not aiming set reticle mode to not aiming so we have to do the same thing when we aim down in our ALS character so where do we do that it's here This is basically what we do when we aim down. Right. Let me get some space here. And add a reroute node. And also get a reference to the weapon. mode to aim in. sorry to not aim in. similarly here we should set it for aiming shall we check now oh we have an error mm. all right this uh, we can ignore this because we don't use this character anymore Okay, now we get the reticle. Not in the beginning though. Wait, why did we go to the aiming mode directly when we equip this weapon? Actually, it doesn't really go to the aiming mode uh, but what happens is when I uh, play the game I don't have focus so previously I pressed right mouse button so the system detected it as going into aiming mode now if I equip this and press 3 we are not in the aiming mode anymore now it works as intended the next thing is uh, how to implement zoom in zoom out and we should not see the character when we aim. Uh, when I set aiming, I set the character to hidden but for some reason this doesn't happen anymore
y for that we need to see we are to y set the character Yeah, when I equip the gun, I do set the character here. So toggle the gun. Sprite reference. Oh, actually, I am calling this through this toggle hide character. Right, I haven't implemented this yet in my ALS character. Oh, let me check how did I implement it here. Toggle hide character. Set guns to hidden. Okay, I can copy this function. Yeah. First, I set the character hidden, and then I set all the guns hidden and unhide accordingly. Right. Okay, next part is zoom in and zoom out. So I have already implemented zoom in, in zoom event in in the guns. So I have to implement this zoom in and zoom out input actions in my ALS character. So let me copy that as well. So work that I have to set implement this set FOV event in my character so that we need to access the camera of the character and set the field of view but we may have a problem here We do not have a camera. Where do we have the camera? Here. In here, get camera. We have this function in a less based character blueprint. Why don't we use that instead of this reference? Mm -hmm. Not 
try again. Oh, now I'm trying to read properly. Okay, this is not implemented, that means. So, so how to set FOV? So, in the ALS character, we have a variable called uh, FOV. First person FOV and third person FOV. At the moment, I am using the third person camera. So, this uh, third person FOV should work, but this is just a variable that is inside this character blueprint. So, how to actually make changes based uh, to reflect this FOV change in the camera? So, in the ALS Play Camera Manager, there is a function. Mm, update camera but uh, I'm not sure if this oh, we don't have an interface event connect to that See where is this called? Nowhere. Right. So for this instance, let's get where camera manager and pass to ALS camera manager and I'll promote this to a variable ALS camera manager we don't need to repeat this every time we so do so mean so out so we can do a is valid check just like this if we don't have a valid reference we can do the casting and initialize the variable otherwise we can just use it so just like this Dead. oh what's the function name Update blueprint, update camera. Mm, why is it not visible here? Let's try then this custom camera behavior. Right, that works. this update FOV okay now let's check if that is working okay so means so mode works great uh, also one more thing for the for the sniper we don't need this uh, this middle cross when we are in this core so how can we prevent that we 
when we set the radical mode to A I mean we can update this radical to sorry not the radical gone widget to hide the radical now then let's create one an input boolean show hide if it is true we should show it if it is false we should hide it set visibility select based on this parameter true visible false hit Now, in our sniper M82 on the radical can widget can call toggle radical to false. two cases we can call true to buy a new mouse see the cross in the middle all right so everything is working as intended and I'm going to stop this episode right here and thanks for watching so as always project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye